Kid Dracula came out in October 1990 in Japan, and it's a super cute take on the Castlevania series. Much like Splatterhouse, Wimpaku Graffiti, or Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. I love that Japan would do stuff like that back then, and I wish that style would come back. I do own the Famicom cart of the game, but since the Castlevania Anniversary Collection that came out on the Switch offers an English translation of the game, I will be playing it on the Switch today. Anyway, you play as Kid Dracula and you need to defeat Gallimoth to reclaim your spooky throne. I don't know if we can do it, but let's find out. Ooh, is that Gallimoth? I think that's Gallimoth! And now it's like, everything's okay! Let's play Kid Dracula! <laughs> so, that's supposed to be his coffin, but for the longest time, to me, that looked like a Mario pipe. Like, it looks like he's hopping out of a Mario pipe! What the hell, Konami? I really like the monsters in this game. It, like, still feels like Castlevania, but a cute version of Castlevania. I like parodies of games, like cute parodies. Kind of like, you know, Parodius. That's a cute parody of Galaga. Alex Kidd and Shinobi World. Splatterhouse from Paku Graffiti. I love it. It just is like a cute, fun, like, other take on, you know, those classic games. And I think it's so cool that Japan would do that. They never would get released here, which sucks. Well, actually, I think Alex Kidd and Shinobi World, that was released here. But, I mean, Splatterhouse wasn't. One pocket graffiti spotter house. Anyway, so we're Kid Dracula. We are in a cute version of Castlevania Land. So um, I'll have to like re familiarize myself with the story, but I, I guess we're in Dracula's castle, which I think is his dad. So it's like, you're not Alucard? I don't know. But you know what? That's okay. So I don't think there's wall meat in this game. But there is a cool, like, charge attack thing you can do by holding down the button and going BAM! And then you hit, leave a bigger fireball. And then we'll get other, um, items as we go. Look how cute these bats are! These are cute bats. Oh, jeez. Close call. <laughs> oh. Jumping vampires! See, it's like, I- ugh. I feel like there should be wall meat there! But I'm like, Aaron, no, this is not regular Castlevania. This is- Kid Dracula, and there's different rules. This is his own game. There's little Frankenstein, I'm sorry, Frankenstein's monster. But he has a little cute little bow in his hair. He's going out. He's going somewhere. He's going out on the town. So this part looks very Castlevania to me. We got the knights and tons of gears. So this is like we're in the clock tower, you know? But yeah, I just really wanted to do a video on this game. Because I love the Castlevania universe so much, as you guys are probably well well aware of. <laughs> I know some people prefer the Game Boy game. I've played it a little bit, and I think I might like this better. I could be wrong, but so far, I think I like this better. Ooh, are we going to have to jump up on that? Boing. There's always swinging pendulums in most Castlevania games. So this feels right at home for me. Are these like disappearing? Yup. They even have the little platforms and then I don't think they're Medusa heads in this though. But I feel like every time there's platforms like that there's always Medusa heads trying to get you. Gotta be careful. Keep yourself cool and calm and just walk across them. Don't jump. But it can be easy to do. Oh. Now we're on a bridge. Again, very Castlevania-y. Ooh, these drop. Heart. So this moon right here, it reminds me of, I want to say it's Dracula's Curse. I would stream that when you get to Dracula. The moon, there's like clouds, and it looks like the moon is holding a shotgun. And now I can never get that out of my head when I see that. I don't see clouds. I see a moon holding a shotgun. But that, that moon has a face and he's just chilling. This guy looks like a big marshmallow. It's okay. Shoot! Don't jump into his flames, Aaron. Alright, so I think that was it. That first boss is very easy. Yes! A homing spell! Cool, so we got- ooh. So we got a new spell. Basically it's like spread fireballs. This is cool, because every time I saw this part, I had no idea what it meant, so I couldn't play it. But now that it's in English, I can read it! Ooh, okay. Uh, roulette, can-can, 
Garapon or Jab and Pop? What's Jab and Pop? Oh, it's one of those things. Well, who knows what I'm gonna get now. Roulette? Oh, okay, we'll play Roulette. I like how it's like a newscaster guy. Who is that man? And those look like blow dryers. You need to bring more coins. See you next time. <gasps> These look like flying chickens. Or maybe they're supposed to be yellow vultures. I don't know. Okay, this part doesn't feel very Castlevania. Can you imagine? Oh! Cute witches! Cute witches that are actually bitches! <laughs> they're dropping bombs on us! See, they look cute. It's like, oh, are they our friend? No. They may be cute, but they're evil. Alright, Aaron, pay attention. Oh, not like that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna switch to that. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was awesome! Yeah, bitch. I want that coin. Cool. Okay, so if you use, like, your uh, power-ups... Yeah. Um, you get coins. Okay. That makes sense. Boing. Okay, what's, what's this gonna be? Oh, no. No! Oh, my God. No! It's tricky platforming time. Oh, and they start you all the way back here. Well, that sucks. Oh, 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 my God. That was close. See, this doesn't look hard, but it's actually, it's like... The jumps are just awkward enough to totally screw you up. And I really want to get that heart, but I remember getting that heart was bad because I would die every time trying to get it. So it wasn't worth it. Alright, I'm going to charge up my little homing device. Wait, what's this? Oh no. These little roller coaster type things freak me out. What the hell's happening here? Oh my god, everything's trying to kill me. Ugh, fuck. Oh god, turtles! Ooh, loopy to loop. <laughs> this is so stressful. I don't, I don't, okay. So, this is, this is its own thing. That's, you know, we never had a Belmont roller coaster. That was surprising. Oh my god, look at these clouds. <gasps> no, where is it gonna start me? Oh, thank god. I okay. So you can tell by their- <gasps> By their eyeballs which way the clouds are gonna go. <sighs> okay, so this guy, he's looking down, so he's gonna drop down. And you're gonna drop down. They look so sad when you're on them. I guess they don't want people on them. Which, you know, that's understandable. I wouldn't want people stepping on me. I'm like really scared playing this. Big chicken! Big boy chicken. <laughs> oh! Oh, I don't have my um, other thing on. You bitch, you're not gonna kill me. Yeah, that's right! One heart left, but we did it. <laughs> I really hope we get- oh, okay, they refilled our health, thank god. <gasps> and we have bombs now! Ooh. 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 <laughs> I don't know why that was my reaction. I'm just excited. I'm like really into this game. It's good. Play it if you haven't. Oh no, are we in water? Oh, that's right. Whoa, okay. So these are kind of weird. It's not your typical water level mechanics, um, which is a little um, disorienting. Okay, so we can't kill fire, but you know, you never know. After playing Zelda and learning I could, um, okay. So I can only jump off things. I can't, like, float through the water. What I was saying was, after Zelda, you know, where you could, like, shove your sword 
in the flames and it defeated the flames, I was like, oh, you never, you never know. Maybe that happens in other things. But I'm just an idiot, so that wasn't the case. <laughs> I don't like this. Why does there have to be a water level? Like, why? I know I'm being very whiny about it, but it's pissing me off. Uh, oh, thank god. Okay. See, you don't want to touch the spikes. It's very evil. Don't! Evil! Okay, uh, should I go that way? No, I guess I'm going down. See, they always put spikes under drops. That is so mean. What the hell are those? They're scary. I, I don't like it at all. Who the hell's down here? Come on! It's really hard to control where you're going. I'm sure there's some pro in the comments that's like, no, it's so fucking easy, and that's great that you think that. But I don't think that. And I'm upset right now. <laughs> no! Why do I snap now? I snap. I never used to snap. <sighs> What's happening to me? Yeah, fuckers, don't fuck with me. I have homing missiles. No. Oh. <laughs> I got too cocky. One thing I will say, um, usually I don't like, uh, like, ports of retro games because usually it's like, it could be scaled all wrong. But I like how right away it's on the correct scaling. So this was done well. I think this was done by M2, who, like, they do, uh, pretty good ports of stuff. So, good job. So I was worried, I- cause I didn't know this was on the Castlevania collection. I didn't know what was in the Castlevania collection because, like, I just- I've been playing everything on, like, you know, the real consoles. Cause I'm one of those people. I, I like to do it. But no, hey, do what you gotta do to play the game, I don't care. But, um, just personally, I usually use original hardware and stuff. So I didn't know that this was on there, and I didn't know that- it was English. There was an English translation, so that's great. Oh my god, are we finally at a boss? Ooh, bubble boss! Wow, he goes off the screen a lot. That's confusing. There we go. So I guess he just kind of got to guess where he'll end up. You know what? Let's try the bomb. Okay, I don't think I like that. Did we do it? Oh shit, we did it! Nice! I'm so batty now! <gasps> we can now turn into a bat! How exciting! Yeah! Oh my god, we got the can can one! Yes! Which color do we hide? I don't understand. You need to bring more coins. Oh! Damn it! I wanted to know what you do here. I still don't know what you do. But can can girls are cute. It kind of reminds me of Sunset Riders. Isn't there a part where there's like can can girls when you're fighting? I think it's the level with the chandelier fight. Okay, I'm gonna use this. No, no, no. I'm gonna use the bat because this is a very slippery level. Okay, I think I hate ice levels more than I hate water levels. It's close, but some water levels I don't find that bad. Like I don't find Mario water levels that bad. This water level, though, that kicked my ass. Did not like it. But ice levels of all sorts, I just, I don't. I like the way they look, I like the atmosphere, but in most games they just piss me off. But luckily we have the bat thing now. Let's fly. Fly over these bitches. Oh yeah, and then if you touch anything, um... Like, anything. Not even the enemy. If you touch, like, a ledge, you automatically turn ba back <laughs> turn back into a vampire. Human. Whatever you want to call it. But you're no longer a bat, so you gotta be real careful. Okay. I'm trying to remember. See, sometimes you want to use the bat, but you don't want to always depend on the bat. See, this little fucker makes it hard. Look at those! Don't they look like something? Isn't there a game where there's, um, snowmen like that? Is it Kirby? I don't know what it is. But there's a game where the snowmen look like that. And I'm totally blanking. So if you know what I'm talking about, please let me know in the comments because it's bothering me. 
I played this the other night, like, I don't know, a few weeks ago, and it was bothering me then, and it's bothering me now. Who are you from? What are you from? Who sent you? Look at that little seal. He's trying to blow us up. Everything's cute and deadly in this game. Oh, not water again. Oh, thank god. Oh, no. Those platforms, though, they stress me out. Okay, I'm gonna bat it up. But I can't touch anything. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We're okay. We're okay. Everything's cool. Cool as a cucumber! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna be a bat at that part because that sucks! Okay, so I'll be a bat until I get the heart. If it'll even let me get the heart again, I don't know if it will. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I'm not on the right item, that's why. Hey, Aaron, don't fuck this up. Okay, so- Ah! Help! Oh, God! <sighs> so, okay, here, you can't be a bat, because it's just- It doesn't- It's too hard. I mean, I'm, I know you can, but, like, you can't. This part sucks! All the memories are coming back, and it's very, very scary. But at least I know what's happening. This is only level four, and they've already thrown water levels and ice levels at us. And tricky little platform things. I mean, this is in the Castlevania family after all, so. Alright, let's turn into a bat. God help me. Don't touch anything, don't touch anything, don't touch anything, don't touch anything. We're also timed. Okay, we did it. Okay, let's turn into a bat. Let's just do it. We can do it. I didn't- I don't think I was close enough to hit the spikes. Okay, come on. Oh my god, there was- there were spikes down there! They are after you in this game. It is not forgiving at all. <sighs> That's okay, but like, jeez. Oh, you bastard! You stupid, cute, seal bastard! I don't trust you. God. This is an awkward jump. Do I need to be... Okay. Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh, boss. And he does that. Did we do it? Yeah, we did it. Ice spell. Okay, so I guess it freezes them, so it's kind of like using the um, time stopper. But instead, it's an ice thingamajig. I want to try the can cans again, but let's see where it takes us. Pay five coins to pick a color and see by yourself if you were right. Okay, so we gotta guess what color they're hiding, I guess. I don't know. Yellow 7 up. Did you enjoy it? And they're like showing us their asses and winking. <laughs> oh, so it's like they got you yellow. So if their panties aren't yellow, then you lose. I don't know. That's really funny. <laughs> Okay, so now we are in the city. This looks like Ninja Gaiden, kind of. I'm into it. Okay, so I'm gonna put my homing device on, and we'll see if that's a good weapon to have here. I don't know what we're gonna encounter. Oh, shit! Flying saucers? That's kind of cool. I like the little noise they make. Oh my god, they're alien men! Ah! I panicked! It was scary. Oh, who's this? Is that Spider-Man? Spider-Man's here? Everyone's here. Where do we go? I'm afraid to drop down. I'm gonna be a bat. Oh my god. We're going down. Where Are we going underground? Oh, we're on a train! Ah! No! I didn't mean to go that way! Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is one of those levels where you gotta listen for the cue to, like, duck. Okay. 
Am I down enough? Oh, that was close. Ah! Oh, I didn't make it! This is scary. Okay, now we're in a good spot. Oh, these guys are annoying. I don't like you. <gasps> Maybe the ice would be good on this level. I think I should, equi should equip my ice. Because I feel like if you freeze those guys, it'd make things a lot easier. We'll see. Yeah, ice was definitely the weapon of choice. At least I feel that way now. Oh god, these guys too? <gasps> Little Jasons! There's so many Jasons! Fuckers! Ugh! I'm gonna try using the normal power-up because I thought ice would work. Doesn't seem to be working. I did- I tried briefly the, um, homing shot. That didn't really work. I don't know if a bomb would work. I don't know, I could try a bomb. I haven't tried the bomb much. I tried it like once. So let's try that. Oh, and you can get two at a time with that? Okay, yeah. I think bomb is the way to go. Took me long enough. But you know what? Whatever. Better late than never, right? See, it sucks because they like come from behind you too. It's brutal, man. Okay. Oh fuck, I'm gonna get squished! <sighs> Alright, gotta try this again. So I think the bomb was the best. I think. This is just hard no matter what. In the comments, if any of you guys have been in this part, you guys should totally tell me what weapon you like to use because I am clearly getting my ass kicked. And it's frustrating. Normal homing. I could try the homing one again? I don't know. Okay, maybe that's better. Because then you don't have to aim perfectly. Okay, that's better. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay. Fuck! But that was going better! I'm gonna edit this down a lot, so I'm just gonna try it again, and then we're gonna get back to where we were. Damn it! Okay, that was going a little bit better. Like, little, minuscule amount better. But I hate to say it. But I think I'm at my breaking point. My god! Okay, I was not expecting this game to piss me off this much. But, like, I just... You know when you just get so frustrated with the game? At least this happens to me. It's like you just feel your whole body tense. Like, my chest is just like... Mm. It's like I feel like I'm gonna explode. So I'm like, okay, Aaron, I think this is time to stop. Take a breather. And then maybe I will come back to this part on stream, you know? It is part of the Castlevania universe. And it's like sometimes I forget. Like it doesn't totally feel like a Castlevania game, but then there's parts that do. Like the beginning, like visually, totally reminded me of classic Castlevania style. You know, you had like the clock tower, you had the falling spikes, you know, some of the enemies were like cute versions of the actual Castlevania enemies. But then there's levels like the water level, the ice level, that totally didn't feel like Castlevania. But then it's like, oh shit. The hardness factor is totally Castlevania. But anyway, if you like Castlevania and you want cute Castlevania, then I would totally recommend playing this. It's a good game. It's just hard as balls. And you have to be in the right mindset to plow through it and to beat it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye!